Hi Pisces, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. We're gonna jump into love and romance and then career and finance. Thank you for being here. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get started. Thank you God for blessing Pisces with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on for love and romance. Okay, Knight of Wands, you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. You could be dealing with someone who's just not serious about the relationship. You know, they make a lot of promises, but this is not a person who wants to grow roots. And, you know, they, they don't let the grass grow under their feet. You know, this, this could be you, Pisces. This is somebody who's in and out. You know, they're after different opportunities. They dress well. They look good. They're outgoing. They're charismatic. Uh, they're attractive to a lot of different people. They're dynamic. It says that life, you know, in terms of love and romance, it could be very fun and spontaneous. What else is going on for Pisces? You know, King of Cups and Ace of Wands. So, um, this part, you could be dealing with someone who is keeping exes around um, just so that they can maybe, they could be trying to reignite something with an ex. This could be you also. This is somebody who has, you know, a plural love. You know, they got love for one, more than two people, you know. More than just the person that they're in a relationship with. Maybe somebody else. This is somebody who, yeah, they keep exes around just to feed their ego. This is somebody who's just always doing something. Who always wants to be busy with maybe another opportunity, another person. Um, somebody who's after the passion or, the, you know, just the chase. What's uh, what's the outcome here in love? What's the outcome 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 for Pisces? What's the, okay. Seven of Swords and the Two of Swords. So you could be suspicious of this person. You know, they could be being deceptive and maybe their communication and their actions. They're very, they're trying real hard to get away with something or for you not to see something here with the two of swords. Um, it's causing somebody a lot of anxiety, a lot of sleepless and restless nights. Maybe somebody does something at night also. Somebody is really questioning what they do or what they're, how they're doing it or who they're with. Um, somebody could be contemplating, like, you know, letting this go or letting the relationship go. Or somebody is trying to act as if they don't see. This could be you also. The best thing to do is just to act as if you don't see it. Walk away from it. Maybe talk about it another day. Um, somebody's just going to turn a blind eye to somebody's deception or deceptive ways. What's going on for a career? Career for Pisces. Nine of Swords here. Um, maybe your night shift worker, or you could be going through some type of illness. Um, you could be stressed. It could be high stress. Um, you don't get a lot of sleep. Um, you're thinking about something, or you're thinking about what's happening here in your career. You're hoping that something negative comes to an end. What's this going on for Pisces and the Nine of Swords? And the Ace of Cups here. <coughs> Excuse me. So, with the Ace of Swords, it seems as if maybe, um, excuse me, with the Ace of Cups, it's like you are, uh, maybe you need to, this is somebody who needs to focus on spirituality. You know, I don't know if, if somebody does something that's questionable for work and it's causing them a lot of anxiety in terms of how they make their money or what they do. Um, but to ground yourself, maybe you need to focus on spirituality and just you and your emotions. If you don't feel 100% good about this, maybe you need to get out of it. Four of Wands. Some, somebody could be like, you do something with a lot of women, exotic dancer, I don't know. Where you have a lot of different, somebody works from home also. 
You have the magician here. You could you could speak or be really eloquent in your speech. Whatever it is you do, you speak, you talk, you know, um, yeah. Yeah, let's see. Knight of Cups here. So, the King of Swords. So, this could be burnout. Whatever it is you do, you're burnt out here. Um, and you might even want to change. Okay? Um, you might even want to uh, you come up with another way of doing something or do something else or, or change your approach with the Knight of Cups here. Or you could be asked to change your approach. What's the outcome here? In, what's the outcome for... Some of you could do something with real estate or something that's really hard. You're trying to start something with real estate. You're really trying to put something together. You're trying to come up with creative ideas in terms of putting yourself out there. What is the um, outcome here? Outcome. Ten of Cups, so it looks like, you know, you get to a place of where it can actually happen for you, okay? Uh, fortune after difficulty. So it, it's going to be difficult, and I see that here with the Nine of Swords, but it looks like it gets to a place of, um, you know, fortunate for yourself. Some of you could do something with women, women's clothing, or other group of women, circle of women. And then some of you speak for a living, and some of you could do something with real estate. And you're trying to put yourself out there in terms of, you know, um, your approach or garnering opportunity. You're trying to be creative in your approach. That's what I have for you, Pisces. If it resonates, go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time thank you pisces many blessings to you take care